Madam. Today we will talk about the forceps delivery. What are the indications of forceps delivery? Those include first of all delay in second state of the labor which occurs with a poor maternal efforts, malrotation of the head, perineal rigidity and malposition. Another indication is that of the fetal distress. Another indication, maternal distress after coming head of the breech. Forceps are also used to extract the fetal head in cesarean section and to assist the face presentation in mento and derail position. What are the different types of forceps? We have rotational forceps like Keelan and Barton forceps. The non-rotational forceps include Neville Bond, Simpsons and the Regley forceps. And the special type of the forceps include the Piper forceps. What are the different parts of forceps? We have pair of an estrated blade with the two curves, cephalic and pelvic. Articulation of the blade is provided by the lock in the middle. The handles are connected to the blade via shank, which are of variable sizes. What are the prerequisites before applying forceps? First of all, on abdominal examination, fetus should not be very large. Head should be less than 1, 1 by 5th palpable. Adequate uterine contractions must be there. Bladder should be empty. On vaginal examination, there should be clinically adequate pelvis, cervix must be fully dilated, membranes should be ruptured and the presenting part should be in a proper station. The presenting part must be vertex. Another prerequisite is that there must be adequate anesthesia in the form of local epidural or spinal. Informed written consent must have been taken. There must be an experienced operator and the theater must be available for emergency lower segment cesarean section. Here we have different types of the forceps like Simpson's, Keenan and Piper. How to prepare a mother before the forceps delivery? First of all, take care of aseptic technique. Bladder should be empty. There must be an adequate anesthesia. Informed written consent must have been taken. And how to prepare a staff before the forceps delivery? First of all, there must be an experienced operator, adequate facilities must be there, theater must be available, senior staff, anesthetist and pediatrician must be there. Now we will talk about the procedure of forceps delivery. First of all, I will make sure that there is legitimate indication for the application of forceps. I will introduce myself to the couple and explain the whole procedure and its needs and complication to the couple and take an informed consent. After fulfilling all the prerequisites in the presence of senior staff, pediatrician and anesthetist, I will go for the forceps delivery. I will check the fetal heart rate first because the fetal viability is very important. I will make sure that there are adequate uterine contraction and if required, I will start oxytocin in fian. Then in the presence of adequate light, analgesia, I will put the patient in lithotomy position. After gowning and gloving, I will clean the vulva with aseptic solution and drain the bladder and do appropriate pelvic examination to assess the position of the presenting part. I will select forceps according to the scenario and check whether both pairs are of the same size and assemble them in front of the maternal pelvis and articulate them. I will apply forceps in between uterine contractions. First I will apply the left blade. So I will hold the left blade in my left hand so that it is hanging vertically with a handle next to the mother's right groin. I will guard the vagina with my right hand and slide the left blade downward in between fetal head and the right hand so that the handle come to lie in the horizontal position. Then I will lubricate the right forcep and hold it in my right hand and apply it in the same manner. I will lock the handle and they should be lying horizontally if applied correctly. I will apply tractions and cronus with a uterine contraction and maternal expulsive forces in the axis of the birth canal. At crowning of the head, I will ask my assistant to give episiotomy if needed and support the perineum. With the further traction, head will be delivered. I will remove or disassemble the forceps and clean the mouth of the baby. Then I will deliver the baby in the next contraction and cut the cord between the two clamps and hand over the baby to the pediatrician. Then I will deliver the placenta and check it for its completeness and membranes. I will examine the genital tract for any trauma and repair it if, it if it is present. I will repair episiotomy by using proper repairing technique. Then I will reposition the patient, cover her and shift her to the recovery room. Then I will write down the detailed notes for the date time and my signature. How would you provide the post-operative care? First of all, I will provide the thromboprophylaxis. Secondly, regular paracetamol or diclofenic. Next, the timing and volume of first void urine should be monitored. 
special care to those who sustain third and fourth degree perineal tear. Encourage spontaneous vaginal delivery in the next pregnancy. So thank you so much. That was all about the forceps delivery. Subscribe on Obsidian Gaini. Allah Hafiz.